We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a new RTA from Fakir's Mods, who are out of Turkey. Uh, I will add, they are out of Turkey, but they do have a distribution centre in is it Bulgaria? Somewhere in the EU, so that uh, any returns, anything you buy, if you buy it from, say, the UK, it is shipped within the EU, so you do not have a import fees. Uh, they do also sell their gear from places like Steam Island, uh, which is in the UK, so you can also buy from there. But primarily, they're from Turkey. Uh, the Ion V2 is, once again, it's an RTA, and you can see here, these guys over the years have done quite a few RTAs, and I've shown most of them off, and this is the latest version. So it's 120 euros, or you can buy it direct in the UK from Steam Island, and it's 120 pounds. Uh, this is, yes, comes in two milliliter capacity or four milliliter versions as well. Uh, they did send on the standard one, which is for me is four milliliters. They also sent on a little Ultim tank as well. So I'll give you a little look at that. But the thing is with this, it comes with a mouth to lung deck and a direct lung deck or a restricted direct lung deck. We'll get back to that as we go along. But uh, close ups, we have the standard packaging for Fakir's mods. It will tell you on the side what is in the box. Take the sleeve off and as always, you know, it's, it's really well packaged and presented. No issues with that. We do get a very basic uh, user manual. Uh, just basically, it just covers how to change the deck out and how to fill it with juice. You have an authenticity card with a serial number and on the back it gives you warranty information also. We have a little baggie with lots of O-rings and spare post screws. This tool here, which you will need for changing the decks out two decks. Uh, the direct lung or restricted direct lung is about 2.8 by 4.4 millimeters. Uh, it's, it's about that. And you also have this one that has three 0 0.8 millimeter air holes in it. So mouth to lung and direct lung. And you can see that the post screws are, you know, they're off center for one another there. Uh, there's, there's nothing fancy going on here. There's nothing to, you know, stop your wire being spat out at any point. Uh, we have two juice wells, you know, a juice well on either side. It's um, being very blunt. It's as, as basic as you get. You take your base off the tank and uh, just to show you this here just now, there's no markings on here. There's actually some marks here. I don't know if that's me that's done that off a, a mod or if, if it came like that. I can't honestly remember. There's no adjustable 510 pin here at all and it doesn't actually stick out that far. It's safe enough, but it doesn't really stick out that far. Uh, the AFC will only spin so far. So you can go, this might not be so easy to do this because it's not in the tank. Basically, you can go from fully open, lots of air, uh, and you just keep spinning it around. It's only going to go so far. You can see the air holes there. I think these are 0 0.8 mil air holes as well, or maybe one mil. I'm not entirely sure, but they're very, very small, and you can keep going around until you get to the one. Anyway, for this, we're going to use the, the mouth to lung deck. I've already uh, well, I've used them both, but for this demonstration, we'll use the mouth to lung. So you've got your, your positive post here and it's going to make contact off that disc at the bottom. And that makes contact with this pin here. Uh, just take that, make sure you've caught the thread and then just start screwing it down. I've screwed that right down as far as it'll go by hand. And then I'm going to take the little tool here and that just pops in the two wells like that and just give it a nip. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it, just making sure it's right down and that's it. We're good to go. Now the thing is here, there is between the two posts, I mean right down at the bottom, you're looking about four millimeters and that's the same for both decks. You don't have more room on the direct lung one. So you have to be kind of careful with what coils you're putting in. Uh, your coil is not going to sit in between the two posts, it's going to sit above it. I will say when you're wrapping this, you know, you can see there I'm holding the coil in place. It's on top of that screw, but I've got this wire wrapped right around the post and coming out and just holding it there. This just means that when I go to snip the wires, the wire's going to be facing, you know, not out the way, but more in the way. Same on the other side. I've just got the wire pinned like that and we'll just screw that down. Snip my wires off. Should see scores. 
and you get an idea that I mean, this is a 0 0.8 millimeter this is three millimeter inner diameter coil uh, did I say 0 0.8 millimeter 0 0.8 ohm uh, this is a PC coil it's a mouth to lung coil specific and uh, this is the build I shall be running with now you can see that the coil has been pulled up and it doesn't sit in between the posts it's sitting up I've cut the cotton to the outside uh, edge of the RTA and I'm just going to take the ends and just poke them down into the wells there's not masses of cotton here I'm not choking it off you want the liquid to be you know flow through here you don't want to choke this hole off and just do the same for the other side as always don't forget your cotton will expand when you get some liquid on it so you may think there's not enough cotton in there but there is so we've got a build there and we're good to go but uh, the important part the rest of the tank uh, so you know about the AFC the airflow control here you know all about the deck how to change that out the 510 and so on here comes the rest of it so this is quite similar to other tanks that we've had from Fakirs uh, you can see we've got a, a serial number here we've got going around here ion v2 with fancy engraving going on here or etching and move this down I can push this out so not only is this a 510 drip tip here this is your chimney but it's also a juice flow control and you see that we've got the, the little star going on there so remember you've got your wicking holes here well this is going to sit like that and with the drip tip in here you can actually spin this backwards and forwards and control your juice flow I will admit that with my one um, the drip tip spins just a little bit too easy in here it's just a little bit on the loose side uh, you do get another drip tip with it I should say there's this drip tip also in fact we'll check this just now and see what the o-rings are like see that that's better I get more purchase on that uh, so I, I do end up turning this bit not holding on to the drip tip so you can turn that round I'll just pass this down here just now and screw it on I will say when the, when this arrives uh, you might struggle getting this to bits all the o-rings will be dry um, it's yeah I struggled I really struggled getting it to bits but once you do get it to bits get some e-liquid onto all the o-rings and it works a lot better i just try this just now you can see yeah it's not spinning the juice flow on previous RTAs I've had from these guys the o-rings have been a bit better but I don't know if you'll be able to see how I'm spinning that round in there just now but that's actually grabbing the bottom section what you want to do to fill this is you actually need to close your juice well I would recommend you close your juice flow control off so you would spin this until you can't actually see the cotton you're then going to take this piece and lift it up and I'm having to do the old rubber band trick here because my hands broken uh, but just lift that up like that and we should see there are two fill holes here you can pull this right off if I put e-liquid on this just now this is bone dry I've cleaned it out and it's all dry uh, but normally once there's e-liquid on this I can lift this up no problem it's just because I'm using my wrong hand and everything is dry so I'm going to fill this up with some Valencia by Regency here just now just pop some of this inside the tank this is a, a malt custard tart I'll pop this back on just now I've put some e-liquid on here just to help it move oh, there you go see it's a lot easier now my juice flow control was closed I now want to open this up spin this round there we go fully open pop my drip tip back on and that's me good to go for a vape so what we'll do is we'll go back up top I will show you this vaping with the mouth to lung and I'll show you what it was like with the direct lung deck also uh, before we go back up top I should say uh, the 2 mil tank is about 45 millimeters in height uh, the 4 mil one is about another 10 millimeters in height so about 55 uh, but that's not including the 510 or the drip tip but it is including this section here so 55 it, it's a behemoth it's massive I mean you want a comparison there's the Integra it's got about 4 mil in it as well and uh, yeah they also sent on the Ultim one as well now all in uh, drip tip uh, chimney and top and sleeve and everything I think it's about 50 euros for this actually in, in total same thing applies you have to get e-liquid on the o-rings to get the, the fill cap off here if you out the box it's so bloody tight um, I know people kind of get worked up they don't want VG put on anything you know when something's been shipped 
But this is like an old school RTA, you know, when it comes out the box, it's a bugger getting it apart, but once you do lube it up, it's okay. I didn't find any great difference vaping with this. I mean, you can see that the chip, everything's basically the same. It's just made from a different material. But once again, I do find that vaping with a two mil tank, with it being closer to your mouth, you know, it's a bit of a warmer vape. I should say this is made with the uh, 316 Ti, which is basically the same as 316 L. It's just good quality stainless steel. But I think it's with the, with the titanium, it's actually, the only difference is it's harder, more durable. Uh, but, uh, well, that's what Wikipedia told me. I don't know. Uh, so we are on a mouth to lung setting here. We have the mouth to lung deck. We've got the three 0.8 millimeter air holes underneath the coil. I have a three millimeter ID coil. It's coming out at 0.8 ohms and fully open airflow wise is is, is, yes, it's it's still tighter than any pod system I've come across, fully open with the mouth to lung. It's what most people would uh, come to expect from mouth to lung. Uh, however, if I dial this right down to that one air hole, uh, it, we're, we're talking, yeah, old school mouth to lung here. It really is. You want mouth to lung you will get it with this you will get it with this uh, it's the direct lung the restricted direct lung I think I recorded a bit of video where I was vaping with that deck they call it the direct lung I would call it restricted direct lung I don't think this is uh, an open direct lung at all it's very restricted I mean I have the air hole open and, and hopefully you can see you can see I've got it right open there and it is Yeah, restricted direct lung. Um, also, I, I will note that um, flavor, no problem. Um, remember, this is the four mil tank, so I always find with a really tall tank that the flavor is just it's just a little bit, it's not as warm as a two mil because obviously your mouth is closer to the coil. The vapor doesn't have that length of travel, so it doesn't cool down. Uh, yes, I, I just find it a little bit cooler, so I tend to bump the wattage up just a little bit more. So you've got the two decks, it's good. I like the fact they've included the two decks. There's nothing, and, and I, I am somebody who has in the past, I've always not waved the flag for cares. I've always said good things about them. There have been in the past, in their earlier days, there was always like, um, their QC could be a little bit iffy or spotty sometimes. Uh, this is, it's not different enough. It, it's just not different enough for me. Th this is, I'm struggling to see where they're changing things from earlier designs. I, I want to see something new and different from them. This just seems to be the same old stuff, bigger, 23 millimeter right, uh, tank, pulls more juice. Just, I just want to see something new from them. Uh, this is, out the box, is a pain in the backside. Uh, you have to struggle to get it to bits. Make sure you lube up all the O-rings. Once you do that, everything will work as it's supposed to. You do have the juice flow control. You have the easy fill system on the top. It all works great. Just make sure you close off your juice flow control when you're filling it. Not a problem there. I get good flavor from this. I am enjoying, that. I'm actually enjoying the mouth to lung more than the restricted direct lung. The flavor's good. Uh, I do find, uh, just on the restricted direct lung, I find a little bit of a harshness from it. Uh, that might just be me, but uh, it, it just seems a little bit harsher than any other RTA I've come across. But that's only in the direct lung. Mouth to lung seems to be fine. It's up £120 in the UK or €120 Euros direct from the guys themselves. I'm being completely blunt. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with this RTA at all. Good flavour. Uh, it, it's just more of the same from them for me. And, and that might be, I might be being harsh and unkind by saying that. Um, but I just, I, I want to see something new. I want to see something completely different from them because for the past few years, I feel that this is nothing new. 
and if it was coming down to me spending another £120 with them again, if I had one of their previous RTAs, the, the Ion, the, the Ion S, the Junior and so on, I'd probably just stick with that. Um, sorry. Once again, I'm not saying it's a bad RTA, it's not. It's just very, it's very old school. Very old school. Uh, but um, yeah, I still love their mods. <laughs> their mods are awesome and the old tanks are good, but um, maybe not so much this one, sorry. Uh, thank you to Fakirs for sending this on. I did get it free to review and to show off to you guys. But until next time, bye for now.